So I've solved the camera and object. Neither are scaled. Method 1. Scaling the object. I'll go to object 1 and use whole scale. When scaling the object track, it's preserved from the camera's point of view. Now that I've scaled it back into place, my object solve still has micro jitter. This will always be there. To get rid of this jitter, you will have to kill the animation while the box object is at rest. To do this, open the graph editor with F7. Open your object and show your solved path transforms. Here, you can use the delete keyframes tool and kill all the idle animation. Do any smoothing or manual alterations if you have to. Method 2. Scaling the environment. Here you need to select a few trackers to scale back in depth. Try and select trackers close to the point of contact. You can go to the trackers room under seed and lock tools, find the nudge tool. This is a very powerful little tool that allows you to manually correct the depth of a seed position. A seed position is a fancy word for the location that you want your point to lock to. You can click set seed or just click and drag the nudge tool and it will make the seed point automatically. Now you can watch in the viewports as you level your tracker's seed points to match with your object's point of contact. Be sure now to set those trackers to locked. In this case, you can also solve with or without using the constraint checkbox. Since you're not forcing your points to be anywhere that they don't want to be, it's going to produce the same result. You can solve with or without refine, but refine is recommended. Refine will build off the initial solve that you already have and produce a faster result. Now, I just want to take this time to say you're welcome to ask me any questions you want on Discord, link in the description, or comment on YouTube, however you feel is right. And, uh, yeah, I work too hard on this potato for you to not watch it, so this is kind of a front for that. Yeah, anyway, bye. <laughs> So stupid.